Hello there. My name is Pharmacist Michael, and today I'm going to talk about methylene blue. Methylene blue is a versatile dye with a rich history and has emerged as a potential therapeutic agent in the realm of medicine. Originally known for its application in staining biological specimens, this compound has transcended its traditional role to become a multifaceted tool in the treatment and management of various medical conditions. In this video, we will look at the diverse medicinal uses of methylene blue, exploring its antimicrobial properties, antimalarial effects, neuroprotective potential, and its role in treating methemoglobinemia and other emerging applications. So stay tuned. You definitely don't want to miss this one. Welcome to Pharmacist Michael's Happy Healthy Living Channel, where you will learn how to improve your life one video at a time. The story of Methylene Blue's medicinal journey traces back to the late 19th century, when German chemist Heinrich Caro first synthesized this compound. Initially used as a dye for textiles and biological specimens, its therapeutic potential was recognized in the early 20th century. Methylene blue gained prominence during World War I as a treatment for methemoglobinemia, a condition characterized by the abnormal accumulation of methemoglobin in the blood. Since then, its medicinal applications have expanded encompassing various fields of medicine. One of the notable medicinal properties of methylene blue is its antimicrobial activity. Research has demonstrated its efficacy against a wide range of bacteria, including both gram-positive and gram-negative species. Methylene blue acts by disrupting bacterial cell membranes and inhibiting essential metabolic pathways making it a valuable agent in the management of infections. In addition to its direct antimicrobial effects, methylene blue has been investigated for its potential to enhance the activity of antibiotics, offering a synergistic approach to combating drug-resistant pathogens. The fight against malaria has long been a global health priority and methylene blue has emerged as a possible treatment. Studies have shown that methylene blue exhibits potent anti-malarial activity against plasmodium parasites, the causative agents of malaria. By interfering with parasite metabolism and disrupting crucial cellular processes, methylene blue demonstrates efficacy in both preventing and treating malaria infections. Plus, its relatively low cost and accessibility make it a valuable option for malarial endemic regions where access to conventional anti-malarial drugs may be limited. In recent years, methylene blue has gained attention for its neuroprotective potential in the context of neurodegenerative diseases. Preclinical studies have highlighted its ability to mitigate neuronal damage and oxidative stress suggesting a potential role in conditions such as Alzheimer's disease and Parkinson's disease. Methylene blue's mechanisms of action in the brain involve enhancing mitochondrial function, reducing neuroinflammation, and promoting neuronal survival. Clinical trials are underway to further investigate its efficacy and safety in treating neurodegenerative disorders, offering hope for novel therapeutic interventions. Methylene blue remains a cornerstone in the management of methemoglobinemia, a rare but potentially life-threatening condition characterized by the presence of excessive methemoglobin in the blood. Methemoglobinemia can result from exposure to certain medications, chemicals, or genetic predispositions. Methylene blue acts as a reducing agent, converting methemoglobin back to functional hemoglobin and restoring oxygen carrying capacity. Prompt administration of methylene blue is crucial in the treatment of acute methemoglobinemia cases, highlighting its indispensable role in emergency medicine and toxicology.
Methylene blue has shown promise in treating nail fungus, also known as onychomycosis, especially when traditional treatments have failed. Studies have demonstrated its effectiveness when used alongside a specific type of light therapy known as photodynamic therapy. Researchers are investigating whether methylene blue could offer benefits for various health conditions beyond its current uses. Here are some areas of interest. There's ongoing research on a chemical derived from methylene blue called hydromethylthionine to see if it can slow down memory loss in people with Alzheimer's dementia. Apart from Alzheimer's, scientists are intrigued by methylene blue's antioxidant properties. Some studies are exploring its potential to combat skin damage and improve age-related memory decline. In laboratory experiments, methylene blue has shown effectiveness in killing antibiotic-resistant bacteria responsible for Lyme disease. Early studies suggest that mouth rinses containing methylene blue might help alleviate pain from mouth sores caused by chemotherapy and radiation treatment. While the idea of methylene blue's anti-aging effect is intriguing, it's still under investigation. Also, over-the-counter methylene blue products aren't regulated by the FDA, and safe and effective doses for these purposes haven't been established yet. But is methylene blue safe? Well, methylene blue can be safe when used correctly, but like any treatment, it carries potential risks, especially for some groups of people. One significant risk associated with methylene blue is serotonin syndrome. This condition occurs when there is an excess of serotonin in the brain, potentially leading to severe symptoms like muscle spasms, sweating, and agitation. It's crucial to avoid methylene blue if you're taking medications that affect serotonin levels. Some common examples are listed on your screen. Many other medications can also elevate serotonin levels. If you may come into contact with methylene blue, such as before surgery, it's crucial to discuss all your medications with your healthcare provider beforehand. This ensures your safety and helps avoid potential complications. Using methylene blue during pregnancy can potentially harm your developing baby. It's best to steer clear of methylene blue if you're pregnant. Additionally, it can pass into breast milk so it's advisable to avoid it while nursing your baby. Methylene blue stands as a testament to the remarkable versatility of chemical compounds in medicine. From its humble origins as a dye to its current status as a multifaceted therapeutic agent, methylene blue has made a remarkable journey in medical history. Its antimicrobial properties, anti-malarial effects, neuroprotective potential, role in treating methemoglobinemia and emerging applications exemplify its profound impact on modern healthcare. As research continues to unveil new facets of its medicinal properties, methylene blue remains a beacon of hope in the quest for innovative treatments and interventions. If you have any questions about methylene blue or any other drug or nutritional supplement, please leave them in the comments section. If you want more information on happy, healthy living, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We release three new videos each week. I have also placed several links to products I use and recommend down in the description section of this video. My name is Pharmacist Michael. Be happy and be healthy.